It is time for Ridge Kids. Welcome back. Uh, for this service Sunday morning, we've got some great stuff going. So we're in our fourth week of January, and we've just been moving right along. So with our younger age group, toddlers, preschool, kindergartners, and families, we've been learning about story time and how Jesus can teach us along the way. And we're going to continue in our school age, first through sixth grade today with our service, talking about self-control. And I think this is going to be a challenging one. So if you have an older student, we hope that you'll watch, uh, watch the first part of the service with our younger kids and then come back for worship and so-and-so show for the older ones with self-control. And today in self-control, we're talking about think before you speak. Wow. Now I think we all can use from that. So thinking before we speak, and we're going to look at Proverbs and how God wants us to make wise choices. And a lot of that has to do with thinking before we speak. So I think you guys are going to enjoy that. And if you have younger kids, we're learning from Jesus again today and that Jesus teaches us to help others. So I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Good Samaritan story, but we're going to highlight that this week with our younger kids. And really all ages, you guys would get something out of this. But it's from Luke chapter 10. Uh, and it talks about who is our neighbor and how do we love our neighbors and, and what does that look like. And we're going to learn from Jesus through the Good Samaritan. So you guys have a great service. Parents, stick around. Older, older brothers and sisters, neighbors, you guys too. You guys are going to make up a small group today. Feel free to hit pause when you're watching on Facebook or YouTube and just talk about what you're learning or stop and look it up in the Bible and read for yourself because we just want you guys to continue to grow. Continue to take your faith to the next level and just trusting God. So have a great service. Uh, I'll be back to finalize things and ask you a couple questions, but I uh, hope you guys enjoy your time together. Boo-boos. 
Ouch. Let's see what else I can learn about boo-boos. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Learning all about boo-boos, are you? I sure am, Ollie. There are so many different types of bandages we can use if our friends get hurt. Giving a bandage is great. It's true. Jesus tells us to help others, too. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? Ollie's got a Bible story for me and you. Oh, hey, friends. I'm Justin the Mailman, out delivering mail on this beautiful day. I have to remember to take Mr. Smith's mail to the door for him. He hurt his leg and can't walk to the mailbox right now. I just love helping people. That reminds me of another important story Jesus told us. Do you want to hear it? Great. Let me just put this story mail in the mailbox. And we're ready to go. The story Jesus told begins with a man walking along a road. When all of a sudden, some robbers came and hurt the man. Oh no, he had so many boo-boos. He needed help. Look, here comes someone. Let's ask him to help. Everyone on the count of three, yell, please help. One, two, three, please help. Oh no, he didn't stop to help. He just walked on by. Here comes another man. Let's ask him to help. Ready? One, two, three. Please help. But he didn't stop either. He just walked on by. Then a third man came by. Uh-oh, he's a Samaritan. He's not going to help this man. The Samaritan people and the hurt man's people were not friends. There's no way the Samaritan will be kind and help the hurt man. But let's go ahead and ask him. One, two, three, please help. Look, the Samaritan is stopping and he's giving the hurt man bandages for his boo-boos. Wow, the Samaritan man helped the hurt man. He even put the hurt man on his donkey and took him to a place to stay until he was all better. That is awesome. The Samaritan man in the story was a great helper. He took care of the hurt man. There are lots of ways we can help others. I'm being a helper today and taking Mr. Smith's mail to his door. We can help everyone, our parents, our teachers, our friends, everyone. The very important thing Jesus taught us in this story is that we can help everyone. I'm so glad we have a friend like Jesus to teach us important things. Oh, hi, Ollie. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who teaches you important things? Jesus teaches me important things. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. I'll see you next time. So there's your story, and it's all true. Jesus said helping others is the thing to do. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, Jesus told us a story to teach us that we can help everyone. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! I'm gonna see what else I can learn to help my friends. I'll see you next time. Bye!
breaks the power? Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty and so much stronger? The King of glory, the King above all kings. Who shakes the whole? Who shakes the whole earth with holy thunder and leaves us breathless? In all in wonder, the King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place. That you would bear my cross. you've done for me who brings our chaos who brings our chaos back into order who makes us orphan sons and daughters the king of glory the king of glory who rules the nation Justice shines like the sun in all of its brilliance. The King of glory, the King above all kings. This is amazing. This is amazing grace. This is unfailing love. That you would take my place.
my tummy. <laughs> Welcome to the So and So Show. So -and -so show. <laughs> I'm Brandon. Uh, I'm John. And we are glad that you are hanging out with us today. Mm -hmm. What are you doing? Oh. Uh, haven't we all learned our lesson from playing with that universal remote? <laughs> Ay, santos cielos, ¿por qué estoy hablando en español? The words on the screen are not what I'm saying. Look, can you see how that's different? Oh, buddy. I think you roll. Ah! Oh. No, 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 no. I'm not trying to do anything crazy. I'm just... <laughs> What's this gib button? What? Or this, there's this G-I-B-B -B button. I've never seen it on a remote before. No idea. Before. Can you please put the remote control down? Uh, uh, please put it down. Oh, uh, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, of, of course. That is, Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> Today's show is all about our words and how we should choose them carefully. John! Ooh. Yub! Yub, yub, yeah, yeah. Zippy la la wee wah. Zup, chup, blah, 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 blah. Go, Link! Shub sub jib shinkle shockle. Chaka laka zip zub. Uh, uh, brin brin san san. Chinkle uh, chinkle drim drum. Oh. Lapple wapple wenny penny. Oh, kinkle winkle. Uh, uh, Jimmy wimmy limmy libby mabby. Uh, ah. Wub wub loopy zoo zoo. Krieg, single, single, can, can. Apple, apple, mean gene. <laughs> oh. Oh. Uh huh. Zoop, Lulu, zippy, Lou, woo. <sighs> Scoop, plop, blub, blub, blub. Low, 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 zoop, zoop. Chipple, chipple, crug, rug. 
Scans Jibble Wibble Dime Care Bapple! Wobble dobble. Nab nab Jim Juper. Clean sling gib jobber. Jude jot slan rankles pan doot. Sly. Croon. Huh. Pampy slappy. Well, you're oh, you're speaking, speaking normal. normal. Uh, oh, we can we can understand. Uh, each other. No. We can understand each other. Uh, and you need to put this away. Yes, I good. do. Thank you. You know, you should never push the jib button. I didn't realize it would make us speak gibberish. What did you think it did? It made us sound like Barry Gibb. <laughs> <laughs> What you got for us, Kellen? Today's Bible story is all about our words and the power they have. Cool. Yeah. And I was going to tell it with a video game. Are you guys in? We're, We're in. in. Perfect. The game is called The Power of Words. Sounds fun. Yeah. In Proverbs 12, verse 18, King Solomon wrote, The words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Our words are so powerful. So when we're careless and we don't think about what we're going to say, they can cause major damage. But if we're thoughtful and select our words wisely, they can do amazing things. So our mission is to find people and then choose to say a thoughtful word? That's it. On it. Oh, oh, oh there's a doorway. Go over there. Hmm? Go over there. Oh, right okay, there, right there. Go, there's go, a door. Go, I'm going. Oh, okay, okay. I wonder what this weird old gray beard has to say. <laughs> Are you here to make fun of me too and call me weird old gray beard like other people do? Whoops. Uh I'm only 20 and I have a long gray beard. That doesn't make me weird or old. I, I, but I, I didn't mean to. I, I, was, I, was, I think we're supposed to choose our words carefully now. Oh, okay. so. What do we say? I don't know. Probably what you would want to hear if you were that person. Ah, ah. I'm sorry. People call me names sometimes too. It doesn't feel great. It's nice to know someone understands. Yeah! We did it! Well done! Sometimes the most thoughtful thing you can say to someone is, I'm sorry, or I understand where you're coming from. Keep going. Take the top path. Top the, path? the top path. The top path. I'm going the, the, I'm take that top path. I am, I am. Oh, okay. I'll go talk to that guy over there. I, that would guy you right please there. let me do this? Yeah. Hello, I'm Uno. Oh, I got this one. Move, you're blocking the stairs. Boo hoo, no one ever wants to talk to me. They just want to go down the stairs. Oh no, Uno, Thought, come back. Thoughtful words, Brandon, know, thoughtful I'm, words. I'm sorry, I was just, I wasn't thinking. It's okay, none of us are perfect with our words all the time, but we definitely should try and think before we speak. Why don't you guys try one more board? Okay. Oh, go down the stairs. Go down yeah. the stairs. There's stairs I, I know, right there. Obviously, I'm going. Okay. Hello, I'm Bananas. What do you want? Uh, maybe you'd better take this one. Uh, um. Hello, Bananas. How is your day today? None of your business. Hey. Why, you little... Wait, wait, John. You never know what kind of day someone could be having. Let's think before we type. You're right. Uh, well, Bananas, I just wanted to tell you I think your name is really cool. 
Oh, that's so nice. I was having a bad day, but now I feel better. Here's a bag of gold. Uh, yeah, we did it. <laughs> Guys, that was so great. You used thoughtful words even when the person you were talking to wasn't very thoughtful. You were right. We don't know what kind of day other people are having. And sometimes our words can make a huge difference in someone's day and in someone's life. And sometimes our words get us free gold. I mean, I guess that's possible, but it probably shouldn't be your only reason for using kind words. Got it. Remember the verse, the words of thoughtless people cut like swords, but the tongue of wise people brings healing. Thanks, Kellen. Yeah, and thanks for the batteries. Zub, yub, yib, yib. Ah, I'm just kidding. I'll see you guys Yo. next time. <laughs> I think it's time to reveal the question. How can words make things better? Hmm. Uh, I think words can help explain things or help someone understand. Yeah, words can also tell someone how you feel or uh, tell them how they could help. Y you know, when we were stuck speaking gibberish earlier, all I wanted was to be understood. You know, it's amazing how many people just want to hear those simple words. I hear you. It's true. So many arguments and misunderstandings could be turned down a few notches if just a few thoughtful words were used. Yeah. Well, here's a thoughtful word for you, Brandon. Mm -hmm. Good show. Thank you, John. I hear you, and I understand where you're coming from. <gasps> and that's the So and So Show, everyone. It hits right there, right there in the heart. Aww. It feels good. Bop, stoop, bop, lee, bop. Come, clap, come, clearly, bop, mine. Oh, no, no, clap here. Come, do, shum, bop, bop, bop. Hop, lip, lip, plum, mini. Could it be, clip, you buy your money, animal? Fling. Wow. Awesome time, awesome service, and hopefully in your small group you guys were able to talk about it and we'll, we'll, we'll pose a few questions to you, but um, I would ask you guys, for the, for the Ridge Kids Junior groups, how can you help others? Is your heart open to helping others when you have opportunities? And maybe look for something this week of someone or something that you could help with, maybe uh, in your family or in your community. Uh, and then I'd challenge you guys to go and do that. So I'd love to see that, love to, love to hear about what that is. Um, and with our older, older families, Ridge Kids families, think before you speak. So maybe make a plan with each other and, and learn about how we can choose our words carefully and then talk about that throughout the week. Maybe each week sit down and talk about how did you do about thinking before you speak or maybe where did you not do well and where can you improve and then just invite God to help you. So we'd love to know you were here today. If you want to text in, um, just text in the word self-control or story time, depending on which, which service you were joining us for. Uh, and you can text that into 360-552-7794. Or as always, our prayer team is open. If you guys text that in too, all the pastors will see that. And we can be praying for your family. Um, as we're getting ready with one more week, we're going to be moving into February already. So we want to start off... Uh, Start off right for this year and just continue to grow. So have a great week, living it out, and I look forward to seeing you back here next week. All right, see you later, Ridge Kids.